Bituminous waterproofing systems are designed to protect residential and commercial buildings. Bitumen asphalt or coal tar pitch is a mixed substance made up of organic liquids that are highly sticky, viscous, and waterproof. These systems are sometimes used to construct roofs, in the form of roofing felt or roll roofing products. Roofing felt Roofing felt similar to tar paper is the base material used to make roof shingles and roll roofing. Used for decades as waterproof coverings in residential and commercial roofs, these bitumen compositional membranes incorporate two layers. The first underside polymer membrane is used as a solid background, often reinforced with glass fibers. Mineral granules make up the self-protective top layer, with a final bituminous mixture encapsulating them both. Typical uses of felt paper are as an underlay meant sarking beneath other building materials, particularly roofing and siding materials, and is one type of membrane used in asphalt built-up roofing systems. The purposes are to separate the roof covering from the roof deck less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 shed water and provide secondary weather protection also the rapid application of roofing underlay protects the roof deck during construction until the roofing material is applied and is required for roofs required to meet underwriters laboratory UL fire ratings the separation of the roof covering from the roof deck protects the roof covering from resins in some sheathing materials and cushions unevenness and old nails and splinters in re-roofing applications. The underlayment also sheds water, which penetrates the roof covering from an ordinary leak, a leak from wind-driven rain or snow, wind damage to the roof covering, or ice dams. However, the application of underlays may increase the roof temperature, which is the leading cause of aging of asphalt shingles and felt paper wrinkles when it gets wet, which rarely shows through asphalt shingles. Not installing an underlay may void the roof covering warranty. Topic: <laughs> Weights and grades. Felt paper is available in several grades, the most common being type 1, commonly called 15 pound, 15 hash or number 15, number 15, and type 2, commonly called 30 pound, 30 hash or number 30, number 30. The weight designations originated with organic base felt weighing 15 or 30 pounds per 100 square feet, 6.8 kilograms or 14 kilograms per 9.3 square meters. However, modern base felts are made of lighter weight fiber, so the weight designations, though common colloquially, are no longer literally accurate. Another basic designation is organic or inorganic. Organic felt paper has a base material made with formerly living materials such as rag fiber, hessian burlap, or cellulose fibers wood, or jute. Organic felt papers are now considered obsolete, only comprising 5% of the market in 1987. Inorganic base products are polyester, glass fiber developed in the 1950s, and historically, asbestos mat. Polyester mat is weaker and less chemically stable than fiberglass but because it is cheap is gaining market share. Polyester mat is primarily used with the more flexible modified bitumen felt products. 
Asbestos mat was the first inorganic base material but was outlawed in the 1980s for health reasons but is still in use on some buildings. Inorganic felts are lighter, more tear-resistant, more fire-resistant, and do not absorb water. Another type of felt paper is perforated for use in built-up roofing and is not for use as a water-resistant underlay. Heavier material is typically used for underlayment of longer-lived roof materials in order to match their longer lifespan, and on less sloped roofs, which are more susceptible to leaking. For example, two layers of number 30 felt might be used under a slate or tile roof, whereas a single layer of number 15 might be adequate for a steeply raked roof of 24-year asphalt shingles. S0 Topic: Manufacturing process Roofing felt is manufactured in roll format. Rolls of base felt are pulled on rollers through large tanks of bitumen mixers until they are saturated with the tar-like bitumen mixture, producing rolls of water-resistant but breathable material. Modified bitumen is mixed with filler components such as limestone, sand, or polymers such as atactic polypropylene (AP) that gives rigidity and tear resistance or styrene butadiene styrene (SBS), a rubber additive that gives more elastic benefits. Topic: <laughs> Felt paper standards. The American Society for Testing Materials ASTM standards that apply to felt paper are ASTM D226, D226M standard 09, specification for asphalt saturated organic felt used in roofing and waterproofing, type 1 number 15 or 15 pound perforated or non perforated. Type 2 number 30 or 30 pound perforated or non perforated ASTM D4869 D4869M standard specification for asphalt saturated organic felt underlayment used in steep slope roofing ASTM 486903 now includes the non perforated felt referred to in ASTM D 22697 A, which will be phased out. ASTM 486903 includes a liquid water transmission test, shower test and dimensional stability limits wrinkling, which ASTM D 22697A does not include, type 1 number 8. Formerly ASTM D 486993 type 1 Type 2 number 13 Formerly ASTM D 22697 A Type 1 number 15 Type 3 number 20. Formerly ASTM D 486993 Type 2 Type 4 number 26. Formerly ASTM D 22697 A Type 2 number 30. ASTM D2178, D2178M15 A standard — specification for asphalt glass felt used in roofing and waterproofing, Type 4 has a 44-pound braking strength Type 6 has a 66-pound braking strength ASTM D6757, D6757M16 A standard — Specification for underlayment felt containing inorganic fibers used in steep slope roofing. D6222, D6222M16 standard — Specification for atactic polypropylene AP modified bituminous sheet materials using polyester reinforcements, type 1 Type 2 
Grade G, surface coated granules. Grade S, smooth surface, uncoated. The Canadian Standards Association standards are CSAA 123. Three asphalt saturated organic roofing felt. Topic: <laughs> Roll roofing components. Roll roofing is a bitumen product that is exposed to the weather. To protect the base from ultraviolet degradation mineral granules are added on top of the felt, also decreasing the product's fire vulnerability. Thin, transparent film is added to the base of the felt during manufacturing on all torch-on products. This stops the felt from sticking to itself when rolled up during the packaging process. Topic: Composition. The complex chemical composition of bitumen makes it difficult to identify the specific components responsible for adverse health effects observed in exposed workers. Known carcinogens have been found in bitumen fumes generated at work sites. Observations of acute irritation in workers from airborne and dermal exposures to fumes and aerosols and the potential for chronic health effects, including cancer, warrant continued diligence in the control of exposures. Reasons to use a roofing underlayment It protects the roof deck from rain before the roofing is installed. It provides an extra weather barrier in case of blow-offs or water penetration through the roofing or flashings. It protects the roofing from any resins that bleed out of the sheathing. It helps prevent unevenness in the roof sheathing from telegraphing through the shingles. It is usually required for the UL fire rating to apply since shingles are usually tested with underlayment. <laughs> Negative aspects Bitumen is mostly produced from crude oil and is not regarded as a sustainable building product. Bitumen is combustible. Exposure to extreme heat and UV radiation drastically decreases the lifespan. The fumes that are produced during hot application of asphalt or tar can cause dermal and respiratory problems. Some felt paper installed on existing buildings may contain asbestos, which has a carcinogenic risk if its dust is inhaled. Maltoid From 1905 to 1988 the Paraffine Paint Co. of San Francisco had Maltoid as a trademark for waterproof and weatherproof building and roofing materials made of paper and felt in whole or in part. However, it had become well known before that. About 1913 Paraffine promoted its Maltoid roofing materials with a 16-page booklet. In 1941, the Deroid Company began making Maltoid in Onehunga, New Zealand. Maltoid was once common enough to be used as a generic description of flat roofing material in New Zealand and South Africa. Item 26. A description of a New Zealand house built about 1914 says it was built of timber framework covered by sheets of asbestos. The roof was closely timbered, then covered by strips of maltoid paper. This was then painted with tar and topped off with a sprinkling of sand. Railway vehicles in Australia were roofed with maltoid. 
Maltoid is still available for flat roofs and damp courses. Topic. See also. Butyl rubber.